Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Joel. I'm Eric. I'm Daniel. I'm Megan. I'm Grandpa. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Matt. I'm Petey. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. It does. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. We're getting our morning started off, heading into the farm market. First things first, we are working on getting the farm market all cleaned and set up. Matthew has got the floor all vacuumed and now he's getting everything pulled out of the cooler. And I've got to get all our tables cleaned off and sanitized. So before we get moved on to any other jobs, we're going to get that taken care of. Matthew and I have now got the farm market all set up. There is a few things that we need to harvest this morning to make sure that we have plenty of produce though. So after dad gets back from the wholesaler and we have the animals all taken care of, we're going to head out to the fields and pick. Now yesterday we did all of our picking in the morning and then we spent the afternoon afternoon bailing straw. We might end up doing that again today. We are concerned there might be some showers in the afternoon and that would stop us from bailing. But whatever the case, we do need to get the vegetables picked this morning. That way we can be concerned with that other stuff in the afternoon. Now I'm not sure what all exactly we're going to need to pick today. I know we have an order for sweet corn. I know we have an order for broccoli. And then we have a rotation set up for our pickling cucumbers, our regular cucumbers and zucchini. And today I believe is the straight eight cucumbers and zucchini need to be harvested. But before we get moving on to other jobs, I'm going to get some breakfast because I am hungry. Well, I just got finished talking with Joel. He went down around back to start taking care of the animals. I have a little order for broccoli that I need to run and grab this morning. I need a bushel of broccoli and I also need some Chinese cabbage if I can find it. And I'm getting ready to leave and I can see dad just got back from the wholesaler so Matthew will be helping him with that. Never mind we've had a little change of plans because Callie wanted to come with us so now dad, myself, and Callie are going to get the broccoli. Now the reason why we had to come out right away is like I mentioned, we have an order for a bushel of broccoli. And well, we don't have enough broccoli at home to fill that order, so we're out here getting it this morning. Are you ready to pick some broccoli? Yeah. There we go, we just got all of our broccoli harvested. Now before we head back to the farm, I just need to run over here and see if we have Chinese cabbage. Now we planted our Chinese cabbage quite some time ago. We just haven't had much time to look at it to see if it was ready to harvest. We have Savoy over here. The Savoy's not ready to harvest. And down here is our Chinese cabbage. Yeah, I think I can get a head or two. There's one head, that's nice. And there's another head. These are the only heads that I was able to find that were ready to harvest. They look really, really nice, but it is still a little bit early for that cabbage. Now that we've got our broccoli and our Chinese cabbage, we're ready to head back to the farm. Callie, look. Once we got back from picking that broccoli and cabbage, we took everything into the farm market. We then took some time to get the truck unloaded from the wholesaler and fill everything up inside the farm market. So the farm market is all taken care of for the morning. And once I got finished with that, I came down around back to help with the animals. They've got everything mostly done. They're just finishing off with the cattle and I might take some of this straw that we have and put it in for the chickens. We are now on our way out to the fields. We gotta get started right away with picking some sweet corn because we are all out. People are gonna be showing up all day for sweet corn because the weekend is coming up and they're gonna need it. Now in our last video, we were out here harvesting sweet corn and we talked a little bit about some of the crop damage we were getting from the skunks and raccoons. I'm seeing a little bit more today, but it's not fresh. It's stuff that's happened a few days ago. So we don't need to be too concerned about that right now. <sighs> Come on, this one won't let go. But if we started seeing any more damage, then that would start being a concern for us. So you 
Planting this first planting under the biodegradable mulch has really helped us out. The stuff that we didn't plant under the bio mulch, we planted as early as we could, and it's still gonna be about two weeks out. Which, to be completely honest with you, would not have been the end of the world, but the fact that we have sweet corn now, well, that helps us out a lot. Sweet corn is one of those vegetables that draws people to the farm market, so when they come to the farm market to get sweet corn, they also pick up other things. So the fact that you have sweet corn really draws in more customers. I will say I thought it was gonna be a lot cooler today, but I think because the humidity is so high, it's making it feel much warmer than it is. See, the thing is, when you pick in these fields, especially sweet corn, because you're surrounded by the corn that's always giving off moisture, it's a lot more humid in the fields. So yeah, I mean, it causes you to sweat pretty bad when you're working already out in this humidity, but then you add being in the cornfields on top of it, aye, aye. But even though it can be quite bothersome to be out in this humidity and heat, we do get kind of used to it, and it's not as bad as it could be. Dad, is Daniel saying you stink when you got out of your combine? Let's do a test here this morning. Let's make sure this stuff still tastes good. Oh yeah, Joel. That's good. Oh yeah, that's a good breakfast. Yeah? Well, maybe this is a good second breakfast. Mm. Some of the sweet corn isn't right, so you gotta be careful while you're picking. That's why I squeeze the top, and then I twist it, pop it out. On the truck, we now have 17 baskets of sweet corn. It's not technically a full bin, but it's the most we've picked this year so far. Now the time will come where we're picking bins and bins and bins of sweet corn, but it's still a little bit early for that. And now that we have the sweet corn, we gotta get it back to the farm market so that the customers that are waiting for it can pick it up. I'm here with Dad and Matthew right now, and we're pulling fertilizer out of our tank. Now the fertilizer in here is a 5-15-15, and we're actually gonna be giving this to our vegetables and tomatoes. We're gonna be running this fertilizer into this tank, taking it out to the fields, and then putting it into a location that we can run our drip lines through it as well. We have a little tank system set up back there. This is just gonna be to transport it. We wanted to give our plants a little extra boost and this is one of the best ways we can do it. We got our fertilizer loaded onto our wagon. We also have plenty of baskets for harvesting cucumbers and zucchini. So now we're gonna be working our way out to the field and we're gonna get started. And now we've got a full side by side and we're ready to go. First order of business before we start picking, we're gonna get our fertilizer moved in. Yeah. So this is what we have, a little injector that ties into our main line. As the water comes through, the injector pumps the fertilizer into the main line and then disperses it to all the crops. As you can see, there is plenty of crops here that need to be fertilized. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, watermelon, cantaloupe, zucchini, pickling cucumbers, regular cucumbers, and there's probably something that I missed. I always miss something. But anyway, it's a lot of crops back here that need fertilizer. It's like we're giving all these plants a good snack. All right, now that we're all out here in the field, we're gonna get started picking cucumbers. We do have someone special with us today. This is Eric. Joel had brought him this morning to help out a little bit. We also ended up finding a PD out here in the field. That's always crazy. But we're gonna hop right into it. We're gonna get started with the cucumbers and finish off with zucchini at the other end. And check it out, PD and I both got haircuts. So now we're both looking fresh. Nice now there isn't too much of a difference when it comes to picking the regular cucumbers and the pickling cucumbers. I will say it is a little easier to find the larger cucumbers, so I'd say these are easier to pick. They do fill up the baskets a lot faster though. Those are gorgeous. Now with these cucumbers, they're not at max production just yet. This is only our second time harvesting, so these plants still have plenty of time to grow. Uh, since it is only the second time picking, we're not getting the production that we see towards the middle of the year. But what we're seeing now is promising signs and the amount of cucumbers coming in blossoms, 
is making us happy. Now, if you remember underneath these plants is that mulch that we had laid earlier. It has the drip line running underneath. So everything that we're harvesting right now is getting water and fertilizer. Now with these plants, if you look at the top, you'll notice these little runners and this light green growth. This is new growth that is coming for these cucumbers. So even though the plants are huge, they're still not done growing. They're gonna continue to branch off and push out. And while the cucumbers continue to push out, that means it's gonna continue putting on new fruit, which is what we will be harvesting. Now what's interesting is that this is actually a whole new variety of cucumber for us. Our first year trying it, and listen to this, the name is Dominator. And uh, I think that's a perfect name for these cucumbers. We're almost done with the one row of cucumbers because this is where the zucchini row starts. So once Daniel and I meet up right here, we will only have one more row of cucumbers to harvest. Daniel and Petey just got finished moving the side-by-side -side up and on the way they grabbed all the cucumbers that we had already harvested and dad and Eric got started with the zucchini. Now they're just picking the zucchini down through the same as we're picking the cucumbers down through. Now we do have a harvesting schedule that we are following. We are harvesting zucchini every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We're also harvesting cucumbers every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now the pickling cucumber or the pickles we're harvesting every Tuesday and Thursday. It's a lot to pick out here and if you were to do everything in one day uh, that would be very difficult on you and it'd take a very long time however by following our schedule it makes it a lot easier on everybody and it allows us to tend to all the other jobs that we have now as we're harvesting the cucumbers there's plenty of things that we're looking for number one we're looking for cucumbers that's why we're out here number two we're looking for new growth we like to make sure that our plants are continuing to put on new growth but then the third thing we're looking for is blossoms now we have uh, two different types of flowers that we will see here we'll have a male blossom and a female blossom now the difference between a male and a female blossom the female blossoms will have cucumbers that come behind them like this one and then the male blossoms will look like this on the back side now that's the best way for me to explain how you can tell a male blossom from a female blossom here we have another female blossom now the interesting thing is that we need pollen from the male flowers to get to the female flowers to produce those cucumbers. Now there are a few ways that this is done. Number one is through insects. We have a lot of bees that are always in our cucumbers and plenty of other insects that help with that pollination. And I'd say probably our second best pollinator would be the wind. That helps us out a ton. Uh, along with birds, insects, and then probably the third pollinator is us. As we're going through here and picking, moving the plants around, we are spreading pollen and thus helping us to get amazing cucumbers that look like this. There is plenty of stuff to think about while you're out here harvesting. And this is one of the coolest opportunities to see how stuff grows, especially when you have all different types of crops. Everything grows differently and it's just... It's so interesting and cool to see how it all works together. I don't know who did this, but anyway, this is what we've got so far. We got a good little harvest going on. They're just about finished. I need to pull the side by side up. The boys got the rest of the cucumbers harvested off. So all that we need to finish with is the zucchini yellow squash and yellow zucchini. Daniel right now is picking the yellow squash. This is not too hard to harvest. You don't need a knife. You just grab the squash and twist them and they pop right off. It was only a little yellow squash, but at least it looks good. The last thing we have to pick is some English cucumbers, which dad and Matthew are grabbing. I'll show you what we all got harvested today. We got some zucchini yellow zucchini, cucumbers, and yellow squash. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a productive morning and we have got a beautiful harvest. I don't know, Eric, how do you feel about this harvest today? It was great. That's what we like to hear. Let's see. We already started moving stuff in, but we gave the cucumbers a quick bath 
Now that they're all cleaned up, we're gonna take everything inside. Alrighty, alrighty. It is lunchtime here on the farm. Ooh, and it looks like we are having BLTs for lunch. Check that out. I'm excited. Are you excited? It smells good in here. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew, Andrew, I found Matt's head. 15 pounds. Wow, that's a big old cabbage. <laughs> it's mostly brain. We just dropped off Eric here with Daniel. Daniel is about to start bailing. Eric's never seen bailing done before, so this is a good opportunity for him to see it. But I'm also gonna leave the camera with Daniel as we go stack straw inside the barn. All the loose stuff that falls off of the bales when they're getting kicked on, we kind of just throw off into the next row and then rebale it up again. Looks like you guys are with me. Ha <laughs> ha, let's get some sick baler footage, huh? Welcome back guys to the barn. It is warm in here, but we have made some progress. We put a big fan up here to try and move air around. I think it's helping. Uh, we're about three or four bales from the peak. So we're getting pretty close. Uh, we are against the roof to this point. We're probably about 28, 30 feet in the air. It is pretty high once you start looking at the difference between the height. This will be our second wagon of the day that we've moved up into here. And it's uh, quite a lot. We are. We're moving bales. I don't know what to say. I'm warm, I'm sweating, I'm having a good time. Well, we've got a little update for you. We just moved another wagon full of straw into the barn. We've been filling up this front section here. We have this space right here, which is pretty big. And then where I'm standing, we can fill also. And then if worse comes to worse, right over this beam, we have a nice spot where we can fill as well. In my last video, I filmed quite a bit of us working in here through time lapse. I wasn't planning on doing that today. I just don't feel like running the camera, you know? I'm tired, what can I say? Hey, I'm back. Another update. We're uh, filling this section now. We only, I don't think a full wagon will fit up there, but it'll be close. It's getting kind of difficult to stack up there. It's probably about 10 degrees warmer from the bottom of the mow all the way to the top. And it's probably about 20 degrees warmer in here compared to outside. And we got a big fan running because there's no breeze. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's warm and I'm feeling it. But every time we get done, dad yells up, one wagon closer to being finished. And I said, <laughs> good to know. Oh, it's good to know. I'm happy about it. Right? Yeah. It's so dark in here. I can't really tell what you can see in here. But we got stacked to the peak against the wall. Came out about halfway. Matthew had to go home. He had something he needed to take care of. So now it's just Joel and I, so we're moving over to the other side of the mound. Worst comes to worst with two people. We can fill in this little section right here, but it's gonna be a little easier on us filling this new section. Now this section, we used to put hay in it, but we round bale all the hay now. So we were able to put straw in and we never emptied it throughout summer and fall and winter. So we're gonna just be stacking on top of some older stuff. We don't normally like to do that, but the straw is only a year old. It's not old by any means. So uh, it's not gonna be too big of a deal, but if we can get finished today, I'll be very happy because I am starting to get tired. We just finished unloading our last wagon for the day. I'm not even sure how many wagons we've done, six or seven, but we're pretty tired. Uh, it's stacked pretty full up here. Could fit a few more wagons because of this extra section but I'm happy to be done. I can't wait to get out of this barn. It's cold out here. Let me just say, I'm happy to be done. And I cannot wait to go swimming in the pool tonight. We got a lot of straw moved up in there. And that's a good thing because it feels like there's thunderstorms rolling in. Maybe I won't be swimming in the pool. Ah, oh, man. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm happy with what we got done today. Dad and I were heading home, but then we decided to take a nice little ride through the woods over to where the boys are bailing. We just want to see how everything is going and how close they are to being finished. 
as you can see, they just got started with our last wagon. And there is the other one. They've got it completely stacked full. But Dad and I need to get home because we need to get the animals all fed and we need to get the farm market closed. Well, I shouldn't say closed. The farm market's been closed for quite some time now. We need to get everything put away that was in the farm market. We are now all finished with work. I took Callie for a little bit of a ride. We went out to see the boys while they were working with the straw. She really enjoyed that. She likes seeing the machines work. I think she's gonna be a tractor driver in the future. But now that we're home, we're gonna head on inside. What'd you say? Pool. You wanna go in the pool? Maybe we can go in the pool in a little bit, okay? Sound good? Okay, sounds good. Now, Callie and I have come into the house and you will notice there is no dinner on the table. That's because it is date night. And since it's date night, that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Buh bye bye Bye-bye.